Hi, welcome back to my channel Discover PhD Research Gradually and I am Bhumika Batra discussing the steps and the alternates to be an expertise in a field. In my previous lecture, we have discussed the eligibility criteria for being a professor and I have also briefed you about the literature review where we have covered the abstract which includes the objective of the study, the research methodology and the findings or the results. So moving forward with the literature review part 2, today we will be covering the research methodology section. Under research methodology, as I have discussed, there are objectives of the study, the sample sizes and the reasons of considering the sample, the source of the information that is from where and how the information have been extracted, which generally shows in the form of tables or charts. The statistical test, like every statistical test, has its own conditions where and which test needs to be applied, which I will be covering in the next upcoming videos. The last section of the paper covers the conclusion findings or the results, which says the outcome or the consequences of the study. If you notice in the last paragraph, there are limitations of this research paper, the last three lines. So their limitations could be your objective of the study. We have discussed the literature review, how to do the review of literature, covering the abstract, the research methodology, the findings, results or the conclusion. So in my next video, I will be covering how to write the literature review paper. So if this information is helpful, please like my video, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more updates. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.